Hey Glenn, it's Brody from Pacific Toyota and Lexus of Cairns. I'm just here to give you a quick high definition virtual tour on our lovely 2018 Hyundai i30. Now just before I do that, a little bit about us. So we are Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. We do have two used vehicle yards here. One here where I'm standing at 77 Mulgrave Road. The other one about two kilometers down our main road here down at 235 Mulgrave Road. Just next to that, we also have Toyota brand new vehicles and Lexus of Cairns. That's our little showroom just up the steps there as well. But without going too much further into that, I'll jump straight into the virtual tour for you. So basically what I want to do is just give you an exact idea of the condition of the car. So stand underneath the bonnet. As you can see, it's all nice and clean under there. And all nice and tidy under there. Pop that one straight down now, close it properly for us. So coming through the bonnet here, there's a couple of very light little stone chips that have been brush touched there. Um, but otherwise, the bonnet looks all nice and clean. There's just a bit of dirt on there, but um, otherwise, all nice and tidy. All right, coming down the front right-hand guard. No marks or anything on there that I can see either, so... Give you a good look through the alloy wheels. So, it obviously, it is an active, it's not a go. Um, there is a slight little gutter rash just on the side there. Um, obviously, like I said, I want to be brutally honest with the car and just point out everything that I can. Um, heaps of tread left in that tyre, as you can see without me dropping my phone. Um, under there, all nice and tidy under the underbody as well. Coming through the front bar, obviously you've got your headlights just there and your uh, fog lights down below as well. Alright, not many marks or anything I can see. There's a little bit of a, a rub mark just on the front bar there. Um, but otherwise this front bar looks all nice and clean. Tiny little scratch just there above my finger. But obviously, like I said, I'm just trying to be as brutal as I can with the car. Coming through the front left guard, that's all nice and tidy as well. Down through the front left wheel, no gutter ash or anything on this one. A nice clean alloy wheel as well. And same as the other side, heaps of tread left in that tire. All right, I'll go through the bonnet, uh, sorry, through the roof and the uh, windscreen for you now. Obviously, as you can see, it's been reduced from 22,990 to 21,490, as you can see in the advertised price at the moment. Through the roof now, no sun fading or dents or anything like that. I'll give you a good look through the back so you can see there's no hail damage or anything through there either. All right, coming through the rear door now. You can see the glass is all nice and clean. Got your I30 badge down there and through the rear door, it's all nice and tidy as well. Through the rear bar, you do have your rear parking sensors just on the back here. Obviously, if you do get too close to anything, they will start beeping. That's these little dots just here along the rear bar. It's a tiny little mark just on the rear bar there and a, a couple of marks just from sort of luggage or anything uh, that someone sort of pulled out of there. They have been brush touched, so they do blend in a little bit, uh, but obviously I do want to point them out for you as well. Otherwise, through the rear bar, there's just a light little stone chip just on there. But otherwise, it's all nice and clean. So, coming down the left-hand side of the vehicle, there's a couple of light little marks just in the wheel here. Um, but otherwise, no gutter rash or anything down there. And heaps of tread in the back as well. So, I'll try and give you a good look under the underbody as much as I can. But it all looks tidy to me. So, coming through the back quarter here, there's a light little mark just there but otherwise it looks all nice and clean. I'll come up through the windows now and then I'll take you back through the doors. All right, through the front left passenger door here. There's a light little scratch mark just under there um, and a couple of light, very light little marks that you can't really see because it's silver, but like I said, I just want to point as much as I can out for you. Through the rear door, that's all nice and clean. No marks or anything through there. I'll quickly pop the uh, the boot open and have a look through before I go to the right hand side. As you can see, the boot does sit a little bit deeper, um, so obviously you get that little bit of extra boot room. But obviously, um, oh, you still do have your full size spare that's brand new as well. Got your jack and tools just in there too. All right, obviously it is a little bit dirty in there as we do pop our boots open during the day, um, but that can obviously be. Uh, vacuumed up before delivery coming through i'll go through the right hand side for you now this rear wheel's all nice and clean 
and obviously heaps of tread there as well. All right, there is a slight little scratch mark just in that quarter there. I'll go through the rest of the uh, panels with you now. Up through the top here. No dents or scratches or anything through there. The driver's door, there's a couple of light little stone chips just there. But like I said, in this beautiful silver color in the i30, you can't really see any scratches or anything like that. All right, jumping into the interior now. Through this right hand door card, no scratching or anything through there. And the carpet's all nice and clean as well. Same as that passenger's door card's all nice and clean. Through these seats, there's no rips or tears or anything in the fabric. So they're all nice and clean too. Coming through the back of the uh, two front seats, they're all nice and tidy as well. Jumping into the front now, I'll go through the door cards and the seats first, and then I'll uh, start the car up and uh, go through all the features with you. As you can see, the driver's door cards all nice and clean. You've got your mirrors and window controls just there on the uh, driver's door panel too. This kick card on the driver's side's all nice and clean. That's where you probably see most of your marks when you see them, but uh, as you can see through there, it's all nice and tidy. A little bit of dirt just down there. Obviously, we will have the car vacuumed before delivery. Otherwise, that's all nice and clean as well. And same as the passenger seat too. All right, jumping into the car now. Give you a quick rundown of everything. All right, starting the vehicle up now as well. Nice and easy to start. Obviously 54,412 kilometers. I'll just chuck that aircon down a little bit. Um, but obviously that's your dash through there. Coming out, you've got your steering wheel controls on this side. So obviously your core controls, volume and mode. Um, as well as your cruise control on the right hand side of the steering wheel. So a really good steering wheel set up in the i30. Like I did mention before, the window and mirror controls on the driver's door card. Give you a quick look through the dash now. But otherwise, it's all nice and clean. Coming up through the middle here, obviously you've got your handbrake just next to the driver. Automatic transmission, so obviously park, reverse, neutral and drive. Do have your drive modes there, so you've got an eco and a sport mode, just as you'll see them change up there. Um, so coming through here, obviously we have our two 12 volts and an aux and a USB point just there. Everything that you really need in a small car. Aircon controls are nice, plain and simple. Fan speed on the left side, temperature on the right. Obviously we're up in Cairns, so we leave it in the maximum temperature so we can uh, obviously cool the car down as fast as possible. Nice icy cold air as well. You do have a central locking button in the middle here. Hazard lights and obviously your touch screen with your maps and your Bluetooth up in the, uh, in the i30. So nice and easy to use. All touch screen like I mentioned. Just hit the radio button there and you can control through there. As you can hear, there's no um, scratching or anything in the speakers, so it hasn't been abused on that side of things either. So what I'll do for you now, I'll just chuck you down for a second and open the service log book up and uh, give you a bit of a rundown on the history of the car as well. So. So as I mentioned, I've done 54,000 Ks, so they didn't get the complimentary service done, but that's no issues at all. It got done at 15,000 Ks when it was first due, done at 30,000 when it was due for that, and the 45,000 K service was done as well. So it's actually not due until 61,000 Ks. So a bit of driving before needing another service, and obviously it's all up on your sticker just there as well to uh, let you know about that too. So I'll quickly jump out and give you one last look around the vehicle, but that will conclude my virtual tour for you. If you did have any questions or if I've missed anything at all over the course of the video, please don't hesitate to let me know as I'll be happy to either go back over that for you or